So on this side, this is the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, or at least, well, the old wing. It's, uh, it works, kind of, most of the time. But here today, we are talking about the new extension that Nairobi got last year, and it's, it's much better. So on this new terminal, well, it's Terminal 1, but like Section C, um, you have check-in on either side and then your immigration in the middle. With that, well, Qatar is a little bit uh, full right now, but it makes it a lot easier because the check-in airlines have a lot more space, I find. So Qatar seems to be flying just sort of this side and some Ethiopian airlines on the other side as well. The amount of perks that you get with Qatar Airways, if you can get like even the lowest level of status is unreal. Like we're just silver, the lowest one, and we don't have to like wait in this massive line. We go straight to like the business class registry. Any free first class ticket left? No? I always ask, you never know, maybe sometimes somebody's gonna say yes. So we just went through security, obviously I cannot film there, and even though the airport is newer and nicer, security is a complete fail. Um, they're always understaffed. The way that the belts are set, there's no space for people to like put their stuff somewhere else, so everyone gets stuck on the belt, it's super slow, the lines are long, and eh, not my favorite. Surprisingly though, the security in the old terminal is so much better. They have so many rows, everything's good. It's just in the new terminal, don't quite have it figured out yet. This new terminal has a bunch of new little restaurants and store. You can buy all the souvenir that you forgot, including tea, fancy luggages, um, I don't know, shot glasses, souvenir that's what shirts. I like. Anything. Like the really. Tusker shirts. It's really nice, but talking about food. Even though we are lounge people, our favorite place to go when we're here, which we do make an exception for, is Tembo. This video is sponsored by Level 8 Luggage. Now, we received these back in December, but we really wanted to try them out, test like their durability and everything to make sure we like them, obviously, before we talk to you guys about them. Well, we have fallen in love with them. Dave's favorite part about these, look how easy those spinner wheels are. <laughs> they do have a TSA lock on them as well. But I wanna show you the inside where I'm the organization person and why I love them so much. So when you open it up, you have two sides, obviously. I like that this side has the two compartments in it, but then when you open the big compartment, you have this feature, what they call the extra. So it keeps everything in where it should be and you can tighten it, because sometimes, I'll be honest, I put too much stuff in there, so this can kind of condense it down. So I'm not gonna lie, one thing that I was worried about of getting a hard case, as much as they're more durable, I was worried about the weight of it, but this is actually super lightweight, which I love. So if you want this specific one, it is the Luminous Textured Check-In 24 inch. I think they're the perfect size. If you can get away with the carry-on, by all means try it, but for us, I don't think that's possible yet. We haven't upped our travel game that much yet. Um, we do have a code for you as well. So Dave Manny 10 will save you some extra money when you go to purchase them. The link for these bad boys will be down below. Thanks to Level 8 for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we just arrived at the new location. So now there's two locations of Tembo. One in the old terminal, one in the new terminal. I say old and new, that's just because it's the way we have played it. Um, we just overwhelmed but such a great day we just met someone from Toronto actually who came here for his vacation and all of his friends were watching our videos so shout out to you if you've watched this super nice to meet you and we've met some more people as we're like going along we've met people managing the restaurant and everything it's just our hearts are really full today <laughs> what's the best burger your best seller okay do you take chili I, I like everything. Spice strong burger thing. It's kind of a wrong yeah. with the Perfect. Thing, yeah. So can we get one of those? Yeah, sure. And one of this one the, with the prosciutto. Oh, prosciutto. But can I have no mushrooms? No mushrooms. I don't like okay. mushrooms. It's, it's okay. awful. <laughs> Fine with that. Thank you. You're welcome. She's nice. So like Tracy said, we are lounge people, but in this airport, the different lounges, they have Turkish, they have Aspire, they have like two from Kenya Airways. They're good. 
but the variety of food is not very large compared to what you would see in like Europe or even like Turkey, even Ethiopia to be honest. Ethiopian airline has some delicious food at their Ethiopian lounge in, in Ethiopia. So instead, we come to Tembo every single time because the food is fairly affordable, especially when you consider that this is airport food. Normally it's always like very inflated. And yeah, pizza, burgers, steak, Drinks like it's like bar kind of food. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. No mushroom. Ice cream burger. Thank you. So I have the what? Rum something burger. With chili on it. It's like it looks, it's a spicy one. It looks fantastic. Fry test. Um, I had the prosciutto pizza, but since Mr. Dave doesn't like uh, mushrooms, we took the mushrooms off because we're sharing both. That's cool. I haven't seen you have a reaction like that to a burger in a while. I never eat burgers. That's true. That's a good ass burger. Medium cooked with cheese, chili. This is great. Is it great? Mm -hmm. Look at your pizza. Pizza is very good. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know a pizza is good based off if you eat the crust with nothing else on it. Okopita, who's raving so much, and I'm not gonna lie, like, yes, they have good food here, but like, you're at an airport, right? So, let's see. That is a really good burger. That sauce, I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's not overpowering, it doesn't overtake the entire burger, and I think that's why it's so good, too. Can somebody tell me what this is? Is that what they call a uh, art? Tembo review, very good as usual. In terms of price, don't quote me on it. I think our pizza was like 11 or 12 and the burger was like 14. It's very It's in US dollars, but like for an airport oh, it? price, I it's, it was yeah. In cash. No, no, it's in US dollars. Oh, okay. Airport stuff, you know. Fair, fair. Good price, good food, good people. Go check it out. We're just realizing, I think we had different menus because like 99.9% .9 sure that mine was actually in cash. So maybe it just depends. Anyways, the conversion is still like, it's fine, but yeah. Mine was in USD, I'm confident. <laughs> okay, so when you have a status with Qatar, at least right now with our silver status, you actually have complimentary lounge access right now to Aspire Lounge. So let's go in and I'll finish off in there. Nairobi Airport, we're gonna talk about lounges now. There were, Kenya Airways always had two in the older terminal, um, and then there was one that you could get in with like priority pass and things like that called Aspire. So now we have Aspire, and we have a brand new Turkish Airlines one, and then on top of that, we even have a new uh, Plaza Premium one as well, and we actually just went to the launch of that lounge. You'll see it couple of videos ago, I can't think of the date right off, but we'll put it down below for you to check out. Um, so yeah, you have a lot more lounge options now in this airport as well. The only thing is that all the airport lounge in this airport uh, in particular, except for the Pride Lounge, which is a little bit bigger, they're all fairly like small, but you still have everything you need, free Wi-Fi, a little bit of food, a few drinks, and water, TVs, eh, that's pretty much it. Is it good? It's actually pretty good. So the way this airport is laid out too, it's like a circle, except it doesn't really fully connect. So let's go horseshoe. Um, the first section is actually the old terminal. Now we're in the new section, but those two sections do actually connect. So I don't know if you want Java over in the old place, you can go there. There's Paul's Cafe. Um, so just walk around. If you got some extra time, why not? Our plane is right there. Qatar Airways, some of the best of the best. Our favorite, at least. Did you see this? Like, I kind of don't believe it right now. We'll wait till we get on board. But if it is, this is the emptiest Qatar flight I have ever been on. With our status, able to board a little earlier. So also, we tried to do our middle seat pack again for this flight. So basically, when you choose your seat, you choose aisle and window and hope that nobody sits in the middle. I could be jinxing it just by saying this, but um, let's see, because I swear this is not a full flight. In case you're wondering where we're heading to, Singapore, so stay posted for that series coming up. We got 33H and K. 
nobody's here, and hopefully nobody booked this seat. If not, I guess stuck in the middle seat because we'll I you know. sacrifice and go in the middle. So here's our quick thoughts about the Nairobi airport. The new terminal, it looks very nice. Okay. It functions pretty well, except the security part, I have to say. Lots staff, of, I think it's yeah. staff. But well, equipment too. And location. Sorry, need staff, not a conference, <laughs> just need staff. <laughs> they need a lot of everything to make this work. Uh, but otherwise, lots of like good uh, food option now. Yeah. Lots of like little lots shops of... and like things to do and like, you know, while you're waiting, you but still also, have a good view of the tarmac as well. Lots of lounges. When we first arrived, there was like nothing for us. So I'm, Priority Pass has one now too. Very so true. like I'm gonna tell you the one thing that doesn't work with this airport is one of the arrival um the like, arrival terminal basically. Because it, it it's in a temporary shelter, but it is not meant to be temporary. And my yeah. problem with it is just like people that are coming to Kenya for the first time, this is the first impression that they have of the country and it's wrong yeah. because Kenya is much better than that. That being said, so. you can actually hook up to the main terminal. The old but part. In four but most years, of the time, you don't. We've done it like three times max. And if so. you arrive on like Lufthansa, Qatar, yeah. and other big airlines that you are coming from the international, the you go to that temporary shelter, which is like, paper thin wall yeah. with canvas roof yeah anyway not so, a yeah. good first impression but overall it was a great experience at the airport once again yeah and we're I going like to we Singapore the back of our hands now. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Singapore so stay posted for that yeah, and we'll let you know uh, in a few seconds if we won our, our tactic of middle seat we'll see. guys our trick to work nobody's there so our flight is about to take off so until next time see you guys in Singapore <laughs>